micros, micros, micros. Yes, we're talking about micro futures today, okay? If I had the chance to really go back um, and learn this all over again, and the opportunity was there for me to trade the micros, I would have started that way. And this is the reason, um, and I explain, and I, I state to traders all the time that are beginners, start with the micros all right it doesn't really matter if you have what size account you have whether you have a lot of, you know a, a big bag of money to put into your your account or a small bag of money to put into your live trading account your personal account it doesn't matter the reason why i'm saying this i wish people would stop you know really getting into their head that oh i've got a hundred thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars i want to put into my uh, an account and i'm going to be successful just because i have the money Money is not the key ingredient or the win all ingredient to this uh, to this business, to this game of trading. OK, and I'm not talking about this as, as in a means of, you know, playing some slot machine or, or blackjacks at the table or something like that. I'm not talking about that. There is uh, trading is involved. There's high risk. OK. All right. But this is a very successful business as a whole. The sky is only the limit. There is, you know, unreached potential as far as the amounts of money that you can make. That's why when it comes to investing or trading, you know, that's why people are the most successful people in this world. All right. Uh, some of the most successful people in this world. I'm not saying that they're the richest or the most wealthiest, but I'm going to tell you right now, even though you have some of the most wealthiest people on this planet, okay, um, they are investors just as well okay they may have built a company but i can bet your bottom dollar that they're investing in other, other things you have to keep that cash flow moving and start investing uh, in the markets and things of that nature so what i'm here to, try to tell you is that if you want to make it big time in this business what you really need to do i'm telling you is to start trading the micro starting off that's going to be your test you know you want to be able to test the waters to see can i be a consistent and profitable trader or am i going to have to fold okay all right, so you're going to have to make some logical decisions to even with big money that you may have that you may saved up or you just I don't know, maybe your family gave you some money, you inherited it and you've been sitting on it for a while and and you know you want to start trading just out of the blue. You've got to learn the ins and outs about trading first. That's what I'm here to tell you. It's extremely important to stop, okay? Take heed and learn before you start putting money into an account and just blowing it, all right? Taking your chances and gambling, because that's what you're going to do is end up gambling. Why not learn, take the approach to understanding the market movement, being able to see structure, you know, which way is the market trending, looking for areas to where the market could possibly reject it. That makes sense, all right? People trade different strategies and different it's different styles. Some people trade support and resistance. Some people trade supply and demand. Some people, you know, they they, they read the the order books and able to trade based on order flow. Looking at you know the, the the order books itself, it just depends on your style of actually trading. I'm a pure chart trader, so I can look at the charts and and see. I can see support and resistance just as well as supply and demand areas. But I have to make logical dec decisions based on market movement and the structure of the market, which way I need to trade. Okay. And the strategy and how I trade surrounds, you know, su su supply and demand. Now, I, I say in the past that 98% of the time I trade supply and demand. Yes, not always 100%, you know, do I trade supply and demand, but it is my go-to strategy. And nothing is 100%. So sometimes we have to, you know, bring other things into the fold. Maybe like liquidity grabs. I talk about liquidity sweeps. Maybe even possibly bring in support and resistance sometimes. Um, this year has been... Uh, a little bit more difficult year, I'd say, when it comes to trading supply and demand. And I've said this um, many, many months ago when you were at the year and in prior videos that when we have to evolve with the markets, okay, we have to make movements just as well because, you know, um, the strategy which may have worked effectively uh, most times last year, it, it may not work as great the following year. So you have to kind of tweak your strategy or kind of bring something else out the toolbox to use. So, you know, this year uh, or going forward I'm, I'm looking at the markets i've really been studying them you know what i've been seeing a lot of what, what's been what's been hitting is say support and resistance setups okay especially when you've got great areas of support and resistance the market is actually holding off of a higher time frame um just as well with supply and demand but you have to look at things from a versatile perspective and see you know what is really you know working you know one day supply and demand will, may work next day support and resistance may, may work so my mind at this time now i'm an evolving trader like most people we have to change 
uh, and grow as as traders. I am starting to I, I spend a lot of time on the charts, and I'm really focusing in on uh, what's taking place within the markets. The market is always changing. It's like a living creature. Okay, now. Getting back to what I wanted to talk about, about micros, yes, if I had the opportunity to be able to start my journey all over again, I would definitely start with the micro futures. My reasoning why, low cost to start up to get in, especially if you got a good broker uh, to where it doesn't cost much to really get in, uh, meaning the margin that I need to actually trade, if I'm interested in trading, you know, say the indices or the equities, you know, uh, like the NASDAQ 100, the, you know, the E-mini S&P 500 or the, or the Dow, any of the indices, I mean, the startup cost to it to, to get into, especially with my, the broker that I use, not pointing the finger to tell anyone to trade the broker I use, which is Amp Futures. I mean, you can see the margins down here at the bottom. And you see here, like the micros, $40 per contract to trade. That means you have to have a minimum of $40, $40 per contract to trade. You want to trade two contracts, a minimum of, excuse me, $80. Now, I wouldn't recommend, you know, taking, say, for example, um, a $500 account and trading half that margin, meaning $250 of that uh, when you trade or put a place to place a trade. You never want to do that, okay? You want to have a certain percent as far as how much you are looking to risk in the markets. You know, um, I typically say probably about four or five percent. And once you start getting over 10%, then you're really risking your account, especially when you have a small account. But I'm not here to tell anyone how to trade or how much to trade with. I'm just telling you the margins. Uh, are lower with trading the micros and you can prove it helps you prove consistency can you be a consistent and profitable trader by taking on when i say lower risk i mean taking on trading in markets where there are lower margins at to where you can trade smaller accounts you know what what makes more sense is to is to to build a smaller account then taking a larger size account and then quickly trying to, you know, load up on the contracts and thinking you're going to get a, you know, hit a, hit a Hail Mary. That's not what you want to do. Most successful traders prove themselves with consistency starting off at the gate, but it all starts with doing the correct homework. That means, you know, studying the markets. All right. Whatever market you want to trade, maybe two markets. I would always start off with one, one, with one market first. Learning the behavior, learning the movement of it, studying that market to be able to to determine, you know, uh, when it comes to, yes, I can read movement, I can read structure, I can see the reversals happening. Those are all the things that you want to be able to prove to yourself is that understanding market structure and the price action to follow. You know, outside of that, then, you know, you really want to start demoing or simulation back testing. OK, you have to devise a, a specific strategy that's going to work once you understand that market's movement test the strategies strategies work you know uh, especially if you have or, or learn a, a strategy from you know maybe someone you know maybe you have a mentor and, and you see that they have a high win rate or whatever the case is test it back test it yourself because you want to make sure that you're seeing things correctly and the strategy works you want to make sure that you are trading the strategy correctly by demoing in simulation uh you know doing that Building a means of consistency. Treat it just as if, you know, that demo account, treat it as if you're trading with live money, all right? Don't go outside the means. Don't think that, oh, you know, I, I grew the small size account um, from trading demo, trading large lot sizes, but then, you know, you get over into the, uh, when you go live, then you start, you know, leveraging even more. Trade the same amount. You know, if you get into the markets and say, hey, I'm gonna start off with, with one contract or two contracts, trading the micros, in demo, do the same thing when you start to go live. Don't deviate, okay? In time, as your account slowly starts to grow, then you can start adding on maybe one additional layer, meaning one additional contract. But you want to see growth in your account. That's why I'm saying the micros are very um, important way. I mean, to me, it's like 100, 101% the best way to really start off at because you're not having to leverage a lot of money just as well into the markets. You can start off with a small size account. All right. Once you've demoed, once you've proven yourself consistently for a period of time, then you can go over to the demo and use that live personal account you have that you that you may have put five hundred dollars in or a thousand dollars in uh, or even three hundred dollars in and just dabbling with that small size account, trading one, two contracts at a time to build it up slowly. OK, now, you know, if I just if, if I just put two hundred dollars in my account, um, then, you know, maybe I'll trade one, one you know, one uh, ES contract. Okay. Just to prove to myself at this point, when you are building a micro 
or a small account and building trading micros it's not about being able to take profit you have to compound that account and watch it grow and then you can start taking your profits so if you got a job that's paying you a check weekly or monthly you got a salary coming in stick to that and build you know your account size up with the your personal small account doing that this is what I'm talking about I wouldn't fool on jump right into the e-minis all right unless you really know what you're doing and you really have spent time months back testing and improving yourself and now that you consistently can be profitable you have someone in your pocket that shows you the right way and then you have a large size uh, you know amount of money that you want to put into an account I wouldn't put it all in to be honest with y'all I would start with a certain percentage to put into that account and still see that you can be consistent and profitable even after proving yourself in demo and simulation that you can do it just as well on your, your you know your live personal account so that's what it's about guys to be honest with you so um so what i'm here to show you again uh this is the broker that i use which is amp futures these are the margins right here uh these are maintenance margins you know most people know about the maintenance it's, it's when you have the cutoff period where the market uh closes for a period of time basically like a 15 minute window you have to have money in that account as you can see here the amount size is a lot or significantly higher per contract if you're holding a holding a trade over to the maintenance period i mean in, into maintenance i would definitely not do that okay so if you're a beginner traders watching this video first and foremost find you a good broker okay one that offers or has low margins when it comes to um the assets that you can actually trade with all right um, you know, if you start finding ones where they, you have to have a certain amount in your account to even open it up or, you know, and then the margins are higher, you may want to stay away from those. Okay. And find one that's regulated just as well. I mean, most future brokers are re regulated anyway, but I mean, their commissions, some commissions, commissions could be higher. The margins could be higher. They, again, they may require a certain amount in your, to uh, have in your account and to hold in your account. Um, so you know, find one that's just a, a solid uh, broker. I'm not saying Amp Futures is the best. I'm just saying that's the one I choose to use. I've been using since the beginning. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying I'll stick with them forever. I'm just telling you, as a, as a trader, someone that's starting off and as a beginner into your journey, um, you may definitely want to, I'm not saying may, you definitely want to find a good broker to start with. And I would start with trading the micros. Again, if I could do it all over again, and I could really, uh, um, you know, when I started, it, it, the only route you have was trading the full-on e-minis and as you can see that as you scroll down the e-minis per contract are 10 times the amount of the uh, the margin as they are the micro so I'm, I'm, what i'm here to say is that i would have uh yeah i mean i it, it, the thing about trading the the micros yeah you have to uh it'll take a little bit period of time to build an account you know um you know uh, a lot quicker but the thing is is that uh, you're not having to leverage as much money, okay? Because you could trade more contracts trading the, the, the micros in a sense, but the thing about it is the more that you trade contract-wise, you're going to spend a little more money into the commission side of things, trading the micros. Uh, once you start trading, you know, over a certain amount of lots, okay, or contracts, all right? Uh, that's getting up there, probably over five, six, seven, eight contracts, then you, your commissions are probably going to be a little bit higher depending on the market itself and what – the round turn commission fees are going to be and again that's all going to be tied to the broker that you actually use but i'm just here to tell you that if i had to do it all over again the micros is the would have been the way for me to go i would have felt more confident and uh not just more confident i guess more um um from a safety net measure or security measure of knowing that i'm not risking as much by trading the micros than i would have been trading the e-minis because you know if you look here not only is the margin size higher for the e-minis but the tick value size is higher is 10 times the amount just as well so for every tick that the market moves in your opposite direction or against you you're taking a heavy hit you know you're taking more of a load of a drawdown than you would be trading the micro so Micros is the way to get grow. I mean, to go for anyone that's that's definitely interested in starting off in trading futures, uh, especially trading the indices. Like I, I primarily trade the indices. Now I will say this: I've kind of been dabbling with gold lately, um, and haven't even posted any of those trades over in the Discord. I've just been kind of, you know, again studying that market just as well. So when I feel comfortable with certain, then you know, I may you know start. Um, um, spending more time trading trading gold as well but again gold is a lot higher of a i'm gonna go down here and just show you um with my broker you know gold right here 
uh, it, it, the the margin size that's what the margin per contract you need. They do have the e minis, they do have as well as the micro gold down here. So, you know, micro gold is 207.50. You can see that's a big jump from trading the indices, right? And that's per contract, all right? So, yeah, but I like the way um, gold moves um, just as well, and it, it's a very solid uh, commodity market to trade. But outside of that, I'm just simply here to tell anyone that hey. You can definitely trade the micros with a smaller account and allow it to grow. That's one of the best ways to prove to yourself that you can be a consistent trader, okay? Um, if you are not a current subscriber here on the channel, please go ahead, take the time. You see that button down there that says subscribe? Click on it. Come part of the team. You can also join the Discord. That link is down in the description portion of the video. Right below that is another link for anyone and everyone that you know sends me DMs asking how they can join and become an elite member. If you choose to become an elite member, what do you get? You get the trade breakdowns. Those are a series of videos that I've posted um, covering trades that I've taken where I go into detail about trade setups surrounding supply and demand strategy that I use. Um, and it all in, entails or involves uh, chart confluence, okay? Um, because you really wanted to focus in on getting into a trade at the right opportune time, all right? If not, you're going to take drawdown. So I cover stop losses. I cover the strategy. I cover where to take profit at. I cover just in general the whole full-on mindset of what I was thinking leading up to a trade. So if you're interested and want to become an elite member, $6.99 a month. That's all it is. No heavy hitter there uh, for anyone that wants those trade breakdowns, the video playlist, and just other you know uh, quality video content that I cover in specific uh, surrounding certain topics, like I did a great one on market structure. Um, again, that link is down in the description portion of the video. You click on it, two tiers will pop up. Once you click on the link, choose the one for $6.99, and you will have direct access to those videos. But also, outside of this, I want to say, make sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss one of the uploads on this valuable content that I'm, you know, almost on the daily posting. And uh, just as well, if you have found value in today's video, please do me the biggest favor and drop a like on it. I appreciate it. I'll see everyone in the next one. Take care and have a profitable day.